Hello and welcome back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and today I really wanted to talk to you about one of my favourite UK YA authors, Eve Ainsworth. Everyone should already know that I am a huge fan of UK YA and Eve Ainsworth is definitely a reason why I'm such a fan. Now I've read three books by her so far this year which wasn't really planned but I feel like 2020 reading has me chunking books to similar books together in different ways um, and it just happened that I had a few of her books ready and waiting for me so I thought why not now. So very quickly I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the books themselves and also um, a little bit why uh, also a bit of a reason as to why I enjoy her books so much. So the first book that I read from her this year was a book called um, Tender. I don't know if you can see that very well from this. Probably not at all. Um, but uh, Tender is a book about two teenage carers who meet at um, a young carers group and they find that uh, it's nice to have somebody who kind of understands what they're going through, somebody to talk to them um, a little bit, someone who they can talk to a bit even though their situations are quite different. What um, I liked about this book is that it's about young carers and that's definitely something that um, I know young people are dealing with more regularly now. Um, one, the there's two main characters and one of them has a mother who's dealing with quite complex mental health needs and the other um, has um, a little brother with um, health needs that means that um, he isn't expected to live a very long life and his parents put a lot of their attention and energy into looking after him and it can sometimes feel like she misses out on things. And what I really liked about the, the book is that even though there is this element of romance to the story, um, that kind of takes a second um, seat, I guess, towards the main story which is each of their experiences and what they're going through. The second book that I read um, by the second book that I read by her is uh, Damage, and again, you probably aren't going to see that very well. Uh, this is about a girl who is dealing with the death of her grandfather, and she really doesn't know what to do with her grief. Um, her family own a pub, which is a very uh, time-consuming. Um, occupation I guess for her parents. They're always kind of on the job and she doesn't feel like she gets very much attention um, and she doesn't, not so much that she doesn't get attention but she has like a challenging relationship with her mother. They're always um, arguing about different things and um, anyway um, the main character of that story ends up um, experiencing some some self-harm um, as a coping mechanism and um, what I really loved about this book in particular was um, that the main character's uh, main hobby what she really enjoys doing is skateboarding and that was pretty cool and she also had a really great friendship um, as well. The third book that I read by Eve Ainsworth uh, is um, because of you, and this is a Barrington Stoke. Oh, look, I think you can probably see that now. Um, it's a Barrington Stoke book, so it's um, a pretty short novella, I guess you call it, um, about a girl whose um, whose family is kind of broken apart. Her dad's moved out, and at the beginning of this story, her mom's new boyfriend and her boyfriend's. Uh, daughter move into the house and she's feeling um, all sorts of conflicting emotions about um, missing the way things were um, her parents and she's just um, she has a much closer relationship with her father so she really wants to just reach out and um, regain that relationship. Um, she she really starts out the story um, feeling like she's 
never going to get along with this new boyfriend or um, his daughter that's moved into the house. Um, but then something happens at school um, and she really has to uh, find out pretty quickly um, who's on her side and, and who isn't, um, which um, I thought it was written really well, um, that particular story. So um, all very different topics there, but really, really interesting to me. I really enjoyed all three of those stories. Uh, Eve Ainsworth has also written um, three other books, I believe. Her debut was called Seven Days About Bullying, and there was another book called Crush about um, a toxic relationship, and I think her newest one is Lost, which I haven't read as yet. Um, and just very quickly, uh, one of the reasons I think that I love um, Eve Ainsworth's books so so much is that um, they're very uh, quick, short reads. The chapters are quite small, um, and I think what she does really well is she writes stories that um, for teenagers who are dealing with certain things, so things like bullying or um, grief, being a young carer, um, things that um, teenagers I feel like uh, are, I, I hate, I'm trying to, to say it without saying the word issues because I don't really like uh, issues as a label, but I think it really works for Evie Ainsworth's books. Um, but I find that they're, um, they're really relatable, um, they're really quick and easy to read, and um, they feel uh, relevant, I suppose, is, is what I'm trying to go for. Uh, they're also really emotional. Um, reading her books um, makes me feel emotional, and it's just because um, even though they are shortish reads, um, it's very easy to connect emotionally uh, to all of the characters and what they're going through. So I definitely do recommend Eve Ainsworth. Um, and I guess uh, my big thing when I'm reading are emotional contemporary stories. Um, and that, again, is a reason why I enjoy her books so much. So um, definitely, if you've read anything uh, similar to Eve Ainsworth um, or just know of any really good contemporary emotional stories then do leave me comments um, and if you haven't read Evie the Worth I do definitely recommend you picking up her books. Uh, that's it for me today I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time.